to your recording. Okay, it's red. Look at what my friend Jason's done. He's still pretty green yet. <laughs> Got a lot of energy. Oh, this is a nice one. That is nice. Oh. Oh. Oops. Got it. Got everything. I got. I'm double fisting cameras yeah. here. I gotta spin this around. <laughs> Sorry, G Money. It's my first time using Bumpy. There we go. Ooh, looks like 40 and a half. Yep, 40 and a half. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. Let's take a look at them. Nice fish. Oh yeah, eh? that is a nice fish. Forty and a half. Forty and a half. Big fatty. Ooh, All right. Baby. You want to take a picture, Dave? You're on. James just voted himself a monster muskie. First spot, baby. First spot, the wind kind of just picked up here. And uh, he's in there right now, just sitting. Need some help back there, James, or are you good? I think I'm good. I gotta get my bump board out, folks. Bump board out, you get off that damn thing. Running some video. Hey folks. Oh, just netted a nice one. We had I had one follow and there were two muskies following my bucktail <laughs> at the same time. I've never seen that before. We got a nice one in the net. Hopefully the other one is gonna be here tomorrow because we got a few more days to fish, or actually tonight. But uh we're gonna get this one out, maybe show you. 44 incher folks, and there is another one right with it. <laughs> this is great. Gotta love Lake of the Woods. Basically a buzzer beater for us. <sighs> Getting dark out. 9.43. 9.43, baby. Oh, heavy fish. Heavy nice fish. fish. Mm, Big fish. Thank you, I love it. Lovable, very lovable fish. Very nice that it came out and visited us. Look at the head on that sucker, James. Look at the head on that sucker, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple of owls we've been listening to, hooting back and forth at each other, saying, who cooks for you and who cooks for me? Look at that. Oh, that's pretty... Yeah, there was two of them, and one was bigger than the other, and I don't know if that was... That's 44 inches. That's got to be the big one, because they didn't look like 50s. But that was cool seeing two fish chasing your bucktail. Yeah. It's nice that the big one won, right? Yeah, the big one won, James. Well, we'll find out when I flip a few more gas in here. Isn't your... that awesome next to that lily pad? <laughs> Gives you some scale, that two-inch lily pad. Skeeters are coming out. This is the one we seen earlier today, James. No, that one's bigger than that. The one we seen earlier was smaller. That is a bigger fish than the one that I had chasing mine. By a good six inches at least. Nice fish. Black and brown is hot. Canadian black and brown. Baby, got the old bump board, got the old net, got some rods dangling everywhere, and the old shotmeister. Nice. There he goes. Down, down, down. Gonna burn in hell, dude. Hey, we just banged a big one. Back-to-back -back nights, buzzer beater. Fish we located about two hours ago, three hours ago. Just laying. Came in a few times on the bucktail. We were working it pretty hard. I tell you, when those frogs chirp, big muskies come out to play. <laughs> this is a nice one. This might be a personal best, I'm not sure, but it's a big fish, mid-40s. 
and uh, we're gonna get him on the bump board and check him out. See you later, baby. There he is, folks. Here we go. 48 incher. 48 inches of muscle. <laughs> nice and green, pretty fish. I tell you, man, it's going back. <laughs> Hold on to him tight, James. I will. I will. I will. Hold on to him tight. You got it. <laughs> Hold on to his tail. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that head. <sighs> Beautiful fish. The size of that freaking fish. I tell you guys what. We raised this fish. Seen him first. In some reeds and... James lured him out with the chartreuse buck. We came back and uh, couldn't see her at first, but we went right up in that stuff. And we see them, but then we lost her. We started. I started flipping a bobby bait, and James was still fishing the outside with the chartreuse buck. And all of a sudden, I heard a Jay, big fish. Right, James? Big fish. You hit it. I just went over a reed and it jumped the reed. And as soon as it hit the ground or hit the water after jumping that reed, I thought I was snagged up, so I just hammered. And as soon as I hammered, I saw this big fucking tail come out of the water. Big tail come out of the water. <laughs> and uh, it's like big fish. He turned, I saw how black he was, and I go, that's the same one we were seeing. <laughs> He wants to go here. He's pretty good. Should I let him out in this big water out here? Should we get closer to shore? No, you're good. Uh, you can you turn to the side so I get a good shot of him. Ooh. Beautifully green fish. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. He's getting real feisty with me now. He's pissed at me. Yeah, she was dropping eggs as we were getting some pictures taken. So, I don't know if you folks know this, but these muskies, they'll drop about 70-80% of their eggs the first time. <laughs> then they'll take them to shore and they'll get some warm water on and they'll mature those eggs a little bit and they'll drop that last 15-20%. I bet you that's what we're seeing right here. The last 15 to 20, those eggs are gonna be good to go. This guy here wants to go, he's getting mad at me. He's getting mad at me. I tell you, my net man was right on. I tell you, I hooked into him outside the weeds and I was coming in with him, because we were buried in there. Yeah. He had us in, he was buried. And I said, dude, you gotta get us backed up. I can't bring him into the weeds. <laughs> so he put him in 10, just like he likes to do. There he goes. Oh yeah. Down, down, down. Beautiful release. Beautiful release. Woo! <laughs> Buzzer. Personal best. Back to